to Jenny Say Lean Back, Peace, Love, and Fun with Trees, and all that, all that, all that. Hey guys, it's Vlogmas Day 10. We are here. We made it to 10 full days of videos, uploads, and editing for 10 days straight. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I think I need a round of applause. Just because, like, you know me, I be slacktastic sometimes. Slacking on the YouTube content, slacking, procrastinating, waiting till last minute to do things, and then not getting them done because I procrastinated so much. Yeah. So, I'm proud of myself. Shout out to me. But for real, for real, shout out to y'all. Because I already told y'all, but I'm going to tell y'all again, and I'll probably tell you again in another video in the next 14 days that I have. Um... It means so much to me. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for it all. It means so much to me. Like, y'all have no idea. Like, the little comments and the little shits that I get, that's the shit that keeps me going. Especially now in this crazy time where, like, I kind of feel, like, a little bit hopeless because I don't have a job and I don't know what I'm going to do. But <laughs> you guys really make me feel great and the kind words keep me motivated to keep on going and keep on <sighs> pushing. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. If this is your first time on my channel, what's up, y'all? subscribe to my channel give me a big thumbs up also there are nine videos previous to this that i have done for vlogmas that you guys should go ahead and check out after you do that you can go check out all my other videos because i have videos for about two three years now on this channel so go ahead and check that out also so i wanted to bring to you guys a conversation that i was having with my cousins the other day regarding closure now if you look up the word closure right let's see what it says it says an act or process of closing something especially an institution or frontier being closed and then it says a sense of resolution or conclusion at the end of artistic work okay so that's what oxford dictionary is saying but what janice dictionary is going to say is basically like hmm how can i word this um a conversation provided with answers to properly close a chapter in your life that doesn't sound too bad too fucking shabby not good so when i'm talking about closure i'm talking about in a romantic um sense um someone you're talking to dating in a relationship with something or someone of that nature now i kind of have mixed feelings regarding closure because I necessarily don't believe in needing that, but then I kind of got it the other day from someone. So like, I don't want to sound like an, I, I don't want to sound like, you know, like an oxymoron or anything like that. But I personally don't believe in reaching out for it. Hear me out. One, I feel like closure is kind of your way of weaseling back into a situation um because you're gonna express feelings you're gonna express hurt you're gonna express joy you're gonna reminisce about the good times that's what happens when you have those type of conversations so then it's like do you really want closure or are you just trying to get back in that's one two i don't believe in putting yourself in a predicament to let yourself get hurt again that's just not what i'm about three I sometimes people, when they say closure, they mean sex. They want to bone you one more time. That's just how I feel about it. I'm a very like vulnerable, open, sensitive person. Okay. And I don't like to put myself in situations where I am going to be hurt again. You know, I like to move on from hurt. I don't like to go back and dig myself back into the dirt and get the hurt and put it back into my life. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I, I, I try to do with people. So therefore, I'm not necessarily looking, from closure, looking for closure from anyone. I also believe that actions are more telling than words than any words that anyone will tell you right so if you're messing with somebody right you're dating whatever in a relationship and then they do you dirty doesn't that say enough like why do you need them to tell you why tell you why they did what they did to you that doesn't make any sense to me because at the end of the day you did it so whatever you say is not gonna 
just fizzle away what you did. I'm not going to feel better about what you did because you told me why you did it. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't need you to tell me why you hurt me. I just know that you hurt me. And then another thing is, I feel like when you have a conversation regarding these things and looking for closure, you may get hit with some shit that you ain't know before that will punch you in the head. You may learn some shit that you didn't know before that's going to take you out and hurt you way more. So if you're talking to somebody or if you're, you're in a relationship with somebody and they just shit on you and stop talking to you or whatever. And then you go and ask them why and they be like, yeah, because I really was fucking cheating on you the whole time. Why do you need to hear that to feel better? Just know that they shitted on you and move on. I don't believe in searching for closure. I really, really don't. I really don't. I feel like you did what you did to me. Why do you need to explain it? You don't need to explain. I don't need to relive it. I don't need to feel it again. I don't need to fucking uh, uh, feel sorry for you in the process. Because then you also don't want to get manipulated. Don't, oh, well, I was going through a hard time and I was this and I was that. No, I don't need you to do none of that. Keep it. Keep it on a playground. Take it to your next bitch and play with her with it. Because I don't need it on mine, okay? And then of course... People just say they need closure. Oh, I think we should have one last cut. Because they want a bone. And that's whack too. Because if you know me, you know I'm a person who's all about honesty. Keep it real. If you want a bone, just say that. Now, I did receive some closure, I believe, from a person uh, actually not too long ago. I was heavily dealing with someone and um, some shit went down. And I let it go. I moved on. I took him off my social media. Like done here i'm the type of person it's out of sight out of mind for me you know what i'm saying so and i realize while watching these videos i say you know what i'm saying a lot and i know that so y'all probably like she say this a lot and i realize so i'm really trying to hold it down you know what i'm saying so i was dealing with this person and then i totally moved on like totally moved on i don't want to say totally moved on because they were still you don't know how that go but i wasn't harping on that i was living my life going with the flow rolling with the punches doing what the hell i need to do for me and then we ended up having a conversation about how shit didn't end so well with us but it's not because i was looking for that we are friends and we just ended up having this conversation but it's not like I needed that. I didn't need to express to this person how they made me feel. I didn't need to express to them. I didn't need for them to express to me why they did what they did to me. I didn't need that. And I know everyone is different, but I just don't believe in hurting yourself. Stop putting yo, stop putting yourself in a situation to get hurt again. Stop putting yourself in a vulnerable position. Although I'm very vulnerable, but stop giving people the 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 okay to shit on you that's not okay it's not okay look out for you now don't get me wrong some people may feel differently than me and i want to know how y'all feel about that do you feel like it's necessary for you to get closure to move completely close a chapter and move on are you okay with unanswered questions are you okay dealing with shit on your own eating that because that's what i call that's what i call it like yeah i had to eat that like, I had to take that to the, to the chin. Are you okay with that? Let me know. I mean, I have very strong opinions, and I'm sharing it with you guys, but I'm very interested, to, you know, like, to have a, a debate or a conversation about it. I don't know if it's necessarily a debate because I feel like just different people need different things, and that's okay. But I'm just in a process in my life that I've, been, I've allowed people to hurt me one, two, three many times, and I'm just not allowing that anymore. I'm not okay with it. I'm not allowing it. I'm a grown-ass woman and I need to take accountability You know, I can't take accountability for anybody else's Actions, but I can take accountability for mine and in the situations that I put myself in It's tough out here, but I want you to stay woke man woman whoever non-binary they Stay woke and look out for yourself Look out for yourself and if you feel like you need closure and you're able to take if you're able to receive what they're about to give you and you're ready for anything that you're about to get, then go ahead. Go ahead for it. But me? It's a no for me, dog. Well, that's today's video. I just wanted to share with you. know, I get things on my heart and I have conversations with people and I just want to share it with y'all and know what y'all think. So share with me what you think. And have a great day. It's all love. You already know if you rock with me. I super duper duper rock with you. Peace, love, and power trees and all that. All that. All that.